have finally managed to get a space on the sofa because all the boys, well, they're not really boys anymore, are they? All the males are off at the wash block having a shower. So I've got five minutes of peace and quiet and a cup of tea. Cheers. So uh, I guess it's really obvious at the moment how much space these, these teens are taking up. It's probably about 12 months, I think, since uh, we've been away as a family of four for various reasons that are uh, uh, not particularly relevant here. But uh, yeah, so 12 months, it's become very clear uh, that they're definitely in teenage phase now. So tomorrow we're heading off to Derbyshire and we've been incredibly blessed with the weather so far, which has been absolutely brilliant. A little bit chilly at times. Uh, it's supposed to get much better for Easter week next week. Um, this is before Easter uh, at the time I'm recording this in case the video doesn't come out immediately. But uh, yeah, it's been wonderfully bright and dry during the day, a little bit chilly, but that's fine. So this time they've insisted that they have to have two separate uh, sleeping tents themselves. They each want their own personal space, despite there being two perfectly reasonable full adult sized sleeping spaces upstairs there in the caravan. Anyway, uh, <laughs> perhaps I'll do a special at some point on uh, coping with teenagers in a small caravan and uh, show you how we've set ourselves up this time. It's been working out quite well. Uh, I think it would have been more difficult if the weather wasn't great though. And on that note, I wanted to show you something funny before we actually get down to uh, Derbyshire, which we're doing tomorrow morning. And the reason it's funny is because they're being ridiculous and insisting on staying in their small tents tonight. But the weather forecast is horrendous overnight, so it's supposed to absolutely tip down. And then tomorrow, we're going to have quite a bit of rain as we drive down to Derbyshire, I think. Which is slightly annoying, considering I just polished the caravan. But anyway, there we are. So what we've done is, uh, rather than the sensible thing, which be, would be to pack up their individual tents and pack up the awning tonight while it's reasonably dry, uh, and insist they sleep in a perfectly functional and uh, spacious sleeping accommodation which I've provided for them, they've insisted on staying in their tents. So we've brought the tents inside the awning out there, um, and I'll put a little picture in here so you can see what that looks like. Uh, and I brought my bike in as well because my bike has actually been traveling in the caravan itself because it's an electric bike, it's quite heavy. Uh, but it's also quite small, so there's enough room for it to sit at the front here, um, strapped in and strapped up right, it seems to stay reasonably well. And then we just put the normal manual bikes on the back of the, the van itself on the, the fold down rack that I've got there. But, uh, so yes, the boys have insisted on keeping their tent, so we've just put them inside there. So tomorrow morning it should be pretty quick and easy just to uh, fold those down, dry and then chuck them in here. We'd, I mean we'll get reasonably balanced but we don't need to put everything away properly because it's not going to be stored away. We just need to get it away, get the caravan balanced uh, properly and then just drive down to Derbyshire for a couple of hours and then put it all back up again. So to make it easier, the tents are in the awning so that we can roll up their bedrolls and their mattresses and stuff and get it all in here dry and undercover and then we've only got a wet awning to deal with and fingers crossed if the weather holds the way it should do so we're doing a huge rainstorm overnight but then hopefully it should clear up about 10 o'clock in the morning so we've got a sort of 10 to 11 window to bash the awning off to get the worst of the water off and then just wrap it inside chuck it in the van um, it's got a built-in ground sheet so that will hold any moisture in it stop it flooding into the van floor itself and then just go and then get it out wet at the other end. So that's the plan, but anyway, it was so funny. <laughs> I wanted to show it to you before we actually get into the video proper and get to Derbyshire. So that's the plan. And what was the other thing I wanted to say? Oh yes, so Easter is usually our big sort of family caravanning trip. As you know, if you've been following the channel for a while, then it's usually just me and my two boys who are teenagers now um, doing sort of solo parent things. Uh, but on the Easter break, we usually try and go away for about 10 days or, you know, almost two weeks. And it's all four of us out at that point. And the first year we had the caravan, we did um, a couple of days in Somerset and then down to Cornwall. The second year we went up to the Lake District and uh, various friends visited us uh, coming and going for a few days. And we were up in Keswick for 10 days or 12 days, something like that. And then um, the Easter after that, we went all all the way up to the highlands and then all the way on up again to sky and we went all the way around and had a fantastic scottish trip and then of course we had the pandemic 
um, we were supposed to be doing this trip so uh, we were supposed to be doing a week in Yorkshire and then a week in Derbyshire um, in 2020 and of course nothing happened in 2020 and then we got to 2021 and we weren't allowed out again were we until the 12th and I think the boys had to go back to school on the 15th 16th anyway we could only get in two or three nights so we just went down to the new forest for three nights so again that was all of us and then this year when we can go wherever we want for as long as we want the eldest is now taking his GCSEs so we've got three nights here in York and then we've got three nights in Derbyshire and that is it for this trip so a short six night trip um, because his teachers are very kindly putting on some extra re revision classes uh, in the Easter break so we need to get back for those so that he can attend those sort of things uh, especially as they've gone to all the trouble of putting those classes on which uh, obviously we're all very grateful for it's just slightly annoying that the, when we finally get to do the trip life events have taken over uh, so yeah anyway Easter's usually our main trip but uh, this time just the six nights anyway the other thing I wanted to do and I will put some footage in here if it's worked is the torrential downpour that's due tonight should really test out that gutter strip the additional strip of uh, rubberized guttering that I put on the outside a little while ago um, and I will insert some footage here if it has worked well um, and then we'll go straight to tomorrow morning and heading down to Derbyshire so I will see you tomorrow The kids are doing the washing up. Yes, they're very well trained. Great team of uh, caravanning teenagers, hopefully, these days. Anyway, we are here at uh, Topley Head Farm, which is uh, what's known as a CL, so a certified location, part of the Caravan and Motorhome Club. There's a maximum of five caravans allowed at each one of these. This is quite a simple site. Um, although it does have electrical hookup, we decided that was uh, necessary at this time of year for us. Um, but the main reason we're staying here is that actually we're right at the end of the Monsalt Trail, which is one of the things we're going to do in the next couple of days. I think that's my bike over my shoulder hanging <laughs> outside. Um, so we're going to ride the Monsalt Trail and we're going to do some bits and pieces around Buxton. So there's a, a plan um, to go to the Magpie Mine. We're going to uh, go and check out the Plague Village, which name I've forgotten right now. Iam? Iam. I think it's Ian. Um, and then we're going to head down Pool's Cavern in Buxton itself as well. Uh, but for you, that's going to happen in a moment because we're going to have a nice little musical montage like we did um, back in York. Oops, somebody's done something bad with the washing up. There'll be water everywhere by now, I'm not going in. Um, so anyway, let me give you an overview of what we've got up to and then I'll come back at the end and say bye. <laughs>
Thank you, my beloved. Alrighty, everybody, back on board the tour bus. Next stop, Tagline Dairy. <laughs>